Hello, how are we? So, I went and picked up my van yesterday. This is her. So I came with four winter tyres and four summer tyres. This is it in the back. So this is coming up. That cargo barrier is coming out. Um, don't know what I'm going to do up here yet. This stuff here, it's just a black paint onto the window. So I'm going to take that out and put some curtains up. Um, so when you're looking at vans in Canada, if that's what you're doing, or parts of America I guess, they, um, they salt the roads. So you've got to be careful when you buy them. A lot of the ones I'd looked at, they all had rust pretty much all the way through them. But this one, only a little bit, and the guy that actually owned it before me patched it up a little bit. As you can see there. So I'm going to sand all this back. And give it another paint. Maybe paint a mural or something on there. Not me personally, because I can't paint. But other than a little bit of rust, it's, it's all pretty good. So so I cleaned the back out and got the uh, cargo barrier and the ply sheet off and I've taken the black paint off the windows here, came out pretty nice. So with that I just used some um, paint thinners and just a paint scraper and it came out pretty easily, it didn't scratch the glass or anything. So now what I'm doing is I'm putting this Reflectix on, so you just buy it from, from anywhere. So you just buy this stuff from Home Depot. So I'm going to put it up there on that wall. And I'm thinking I'm putting it on the floor here as well. So that's just to keep the moisture out. And um, yeah, keep the moisture and a bit of heat, a bit of cold during the winter and summer months. This is the stuff here. So that's what it's called there. Reflectix. There it is. Yeah. So I'll keep you updated. Just give a quick demonstration of how this stuff works. <clears throat> so all you do is these little panels in here, or big ones, no matter what size. Just using like a Stanley knife. Um, you've got one here, just like that. And then you've got this tape, which it's not just like a masking tape or duct tape. It's actually insulation tape. Kind of like an aluminium tape I'm pretty sure so it just goes up the sides here so all I've done here is cut out around the side here and then you just you just tape it up like that and then just pat it all down and it kind of molds molds into your corners so it molds real well goes in and then you just run like I've done with this one just go right up around the corners into each corner so that way no air can actually get back in through so it pretty much just seals it up and yeah all right so day two and everything's insulated which turned out not too bad so now to do the flooring so i bought some of this stuff first to go down it's just a bit of underlay so it's got a vapour barrier as well, and it's just some 6 mil thick cork. So I'm just going to put that down on the ground first, and then lay the flooring on top of it. So, here we go. Alright, so the underlay's in, and I've chosen this flooring. It's just a, just a laminate on just an MDF, which is just like a, um, kind of like a particle board really. So, yeah, I'm going to put this down. Alright, so the flooring in the van is done. Just come around the back here, and I'll show you something. So, for those of you who don't know how this sort of flooring works, so quite simply, you just get this strip here and this strip here, so you can see it's kind of got a rebate there. 
So realistically, all you do, put on a little bit of an angle, just like that, put it in, push it down. And then that's it, that's done. So then that's just what I did all the way along here. All right, so I got my flooring in the other day, so that's all done. So now I've bought this, which is a deep cycle battery and an inverter. I also bought this stuff today, so that's just standard plywood. Um, I so I don't, I don't know the exact metric size, but it is just nine mil plywood. So whatever the conversion for that is over here. So that's just gonna go on this wall here and these walls here. And I'm just gonna fix that in with just some metal screws, metal screws there, which will be pre-drilled with just some one eighth drill bits. So I'm not gonna actually hook the battery up right away because I'm still waiting some stuff for some stuff off Amazon. So I've got an isolator coming, I've got some fuses coming, um, and just a few other little things that I'll show you guys about when it arrives, but. So I've got both the walls installed now. So that one there and this one here and then what i also did this morning was these two walls here they're actually pretty easy because on those back walls it has these so that used to just fit in there so it's already got the screw holes and everything so i was able to just take it out screw it into the ply and then trace around it which was really handy um another thing Another thing that I've noticed with these vans is if you've got the doors closed with just these on, you can't actually get out the back door. So this wasn't here. So what I did is just got a bit of string, tied it up. There's a little latch under there. So there's actually a, a lock. So that's, that's locked now and then unlock and then the other one, it was actually a little bit further up. So there's the lock and unlock, but then there's also the one that you've got to pull to open the door. So now you just got this, and it opens like that. So it's pretty simple. So next step now is to go through and give these another bit of a sand, because I did sand them before I put them up, but um, they're a little bit dirty. So I'm going to go through, sand them again, and then put a coat of, I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a, like a dark stain yet or a, um, just a clear coat. So I've actually just noticed something, so it's about 8 degrees outside and even with this insulation in now and behind the walls with a bit of ply up now, it's actually, it's actually quite warm in here, so. So it's actually going to be interesting when it gets a bit, um, a bit warmer to see if, see if it actually, actually works properly, so, yeah be interesting. I'll let you guys know as well, like, over the next month or so, if I notice that, I don't know, this stuff isn't really working, I'll post updates and, yeah. Alright, so I got all the walls in and got them stained. So, stained everything and I now have my fridge and cabinet in. So, there's the fridge and cabinetry. Um, Got my inverter on the side there, battery down there, and got my fridge in here. So it's going to be a bit more secure once it's actually actually in there. Um, and I'm going to put some trim around the sides here just to hide that and put a handle on there. And then just got to build the bed frame along here and then do the roof. And then I'm going to put some more shelves up on the sides here and over there and then I'm still gonna hang my surfboard somewhere so I'm pretty sure that it's just gonna go on the roof there. Nearly done! Yo!